So story, hello class, this is Alberto Montes, and I'm gonna briefly go over week one's assignment. Uh, basically, we're gonna show that we can um, utilize our user authentication and our CRUD. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna log in with an account that I've already created. And a password. You log in and there's no information. So let's add some. We'll say Mike Carroll. And I'm using two points of data, which are a string and a long, as you can see here. So boom, now it's added and our information is added to our page. You'll also notice that it's being saved under um, its auth ID so that we can keep track of different users. Let's close down the app. As long as the user did not log out and the auth has not expired, which are both checked and on create and main activity, when we relaunch the application, we'll be logged in and have the information uh, for that user that was still logged into the application. So now let's log out and create an account. And if we register that, we see we get a toast saying that um, we're successfully added, we can log in with that info. Now we can log in as a new user. And let's add some quick information here. We'll just say Mary Smith. Now you'll see we have a completely new user um, added to our JSON tree. And the data is now showing on the screen. I'll show you that delete works. You can see it'll instantly be deleted. Now if we log out and log back in as our test user, you'll see that it'll take his latest information, add it, and then last but not least, we can change, say we wanna change it to Jim Carroll. He's got a new number. Is now changed and it represents on our device. Um, that hits every point on the rubric. Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, will see you later. Bye bye.